My sister tested my loyalty by having her husband hit on me. Now I'm cutting ties with my own family. This is actually crazy and there's going to be lots of details, so please bear with me. My sister recently got married. It's been about three to four months. I didn't really see much of them after the wedding. Honeymoon and then back to work. But once a month, our family all gets together and my parents host a huge feast. Since this took place a week ago, it was for the month of August. During this dinner, my BIL was being extremely weird towards me. He was complimenting my body, ignoring my sister, and just straight up acting so strange. It was completely unexpected for several reasons. One being, his wife was sitting right next to me. Two, he has only been married a few months. Also, he's just never spoken to about me like that before. I felt really uncomfortable and I'm sure it transpired to the rest of the room because WTF, except it was weird because nobody was pointing anything out. I was extremely confused and just wanted to leave. I left early, but when I got home, I just felt so icky. I don't even know how to describe it. I decided to message my sister and let her know his behavior made me uncomfortable. I told her that it was also concerning he felt comfortable enough to say these things in front of my parents and brother. I explained that if she didn't feel comfortable being in the middle, I wouldn't mind explaining this to him myself. His behavior was so unnerving that I FaceTimed my boyfriend who was away for work in the US. I told him it was weird and how suddenly my BIL's behavior towards me went from that of siblings to this horribly uncomfortable situation. He was pissed, rightfully so. My sister didn't respond to my texts until the next day. She asked to meet up, so I did. I was expecting her to be upset and to have him apologize for what he said. Instead, she admits it was all a test, and I passed. I was confused to say the least. What did she mean by a test? Passed? Like what's going on? Turns out she had her husband do those things on purpose because she wanted to see how I would react if he had said those things to me and meant them. My reaction and choice to message her afterwards told her I could be trusted around him. I was offended to say the least. Why would she think I couldn't be trusted? Well, let me tell you the, in my opinion, not very valid reason for this lack of trust. My sister has been married before. She was 27 and the divorce was about 10 months into marriage. Her ex was a psycho to say the least. He had known me longer than he did my sister. I was the one who had introduced them. They got along well and eventually started dating. It looked like the healthiest and most romantic relationship to grace planet Earth, except when they got married. During their marriage, I was staying with them because it was a closer commute to work. They had extra bedrooms and I would pay rent and cook and clean for myself. My underwear, bras and panties would often go missing. It started off small. I just assumed it got mixed up in my sister's laundry and would turn up eventually but it was happening more frequently to the point I was buying underwear almost weekly. I kept pressuring my sister to admit she was stealing my underwear and she was adamant it wasn't her. I decided to just ignore it and go about my day. Something I hadn't even considered an option was the real reason. My former BL was stealing my underwear. I don't know, nor did I wanna know what he was doing with it when I found out. But I was so disgusted and confused. Someone I thought was my friend was actually just a perv. He admitted he had never really loved my sister and was just using her to get to me. I was just so creeped out and I pressed charges against him for his sickening behavior. I was able to get a restraining order and my sister divorced him almost instantly after finding out. She used something traumatic that happened to me and flipped it to make it seem like I'm the one who was untrustworthy. She claimed I must have strung him along for him to think like that and this test was just to prove I wasn't doing it again. Safe to say I was extremely hurt and angry by her response, so I told her to never speak or contact me again if that's what she really thought of me. My family found out and for the most part agree her behavior is crazy, but my mother stood by her actions and said my sister was just trying to protect herself from being hurt again. I told her if she had just been honest with me from the start, I wouldn't have been as bothered. There's a right way to approach things and a wrong way. This isn't just wrong, it's also crazy. Why is she so adamant it's my life goal to hurt her? I didn't know that her ex was gonna turn out like that, so why am I being punished? She claimed I should have had some indication he liked me, but he really made it seem like he was head over heels for my sister. 
How am I supposed to know what's going on in someone else's mind? Anyway, the family dinner was earlier for this month as it was the most compatible date for everyone's schedules. Yesterday. I told my parents to expect me not to show up if my sister and Bill were going. It wasn't even because I refused to ever speak to her again. I had just said that because the situation was so fresh, I told my mother I would apologize when I had cooled down a little. It was just difficult to face them when they made me feel like a horrible person for a situation that was out of my control. My mother assured me my sister wouldn't attend, so I agreed to come. When I arrived, they were both there. It felt like an ambush, and it sort of was. My sister demanded I apologize for my reaction because it was my own fault it happened in the first place. I can't lie, I snapped. I told her she should remove my number and the title of being my sister if she really felt that way. I just need advice because therapy isn't scheduled for another two weeks, and I feel like I just dreamt a soap opera storyline. I feel kind of bad because I do understand my sister had her trust broken completely by her ex, but I feel like that distrust shouldn't be aimed at me, but the person who actually caused it. And I was the one who introduced her to the a-hole in the first place, so I feel guilty for that already. But I'm failing to see how her schemes to manipulate me into thinking she's being wronged by a husband once again is just far too extreme. I want to apologize to her for one reason, ever introducing that man to her. I really need her to see that I wasn't trying anything when her ex was stealing my underwear. I was just as in the dark as her. How do I go about doing the above because I want to put this behind me and move on? I was just about healing from her former marriage and now this one is also putting me in a very uncomfortable position. With my sister, my BVL, and my own mother. Any advice on how to tackle apologizing, getting my sister's trust back, and showing her I truly just want the best for her? Update one. A lot has happened the last couple of days. I have tried to read all the comments and take in everyone's advice. This has been the outcome. I lost a sister and a mother in two days. It's heartbreaking more than anything. I had a meet up with everyone. My boyfriend came with me, so I had support during the conversation. Honestly, it was hard to look at any of them for the way they treated me. I'm so thankful to everyone opening my eyes to the crazy behavior exhibited in the first part of this story. In front of everyone, my mother admitted to knowing about the plans from the start. Sister confided in her and she agreed it was a good idea. She supported her son-in-law openly harassing her daughter. I'm in complete shock and it just hurts so much knowing she would condone this considering she knew how much I was affected by the first husband. She knew I was having a difficult time in therapy. It took me a long time to trust people again after that. And I feel like once again, my trust has been broken. I don't know how I'm ever going to trust anyone again. I'm really thankful my boyfriend was there to comfort me because it was so hard keeping my composure around them. My sister was not budging at all. She kept maintaining she was in the right. She said the only reason I wouldn't apologize is because deep down I knew what her ex was like. She said I just liked getting attention from him knowing he was married to my sister. She also claimed I overreacted and if it's acting, then it's not harassment. I told her she shouldn't expect any calls, texts, or just not to be contacted by me until I receive the apology I deserve from both her and my bell. Speaking of, he was pretty silent throughout the whole thing, probably because my father threatened his life if he spoke bad about me. He did say that the only reason he did it was to placate my sister because she kept accusing him of ogling me, but still no apology from him. My mother, this one broke my heart the most. She told me I was over-exaggerating and that I should be happy to have passed my sister's test. She actually said the words, we can all move on now. I was in complete awe, TBH. How could she think that things would just go back to normal after this? I asked why she was supporting such delusional behavior. She said it was because she loved my sister and wanted her to be happy. I asked her if she loved me as much as my sister. She said yes, it seemed hesitant, but I don't wanna read too much into that. I told her I wanted an apology for her schemes. She refused, so I gave her the same conditions I gave my sister and Bill. Until I get an apology, I simply am not speaking to all three of them. As a result, I also probably have to go low contact with my brother and dad, because they both live with my mother. I mean, I'll hang out with them outside and without the presence of my mother. But if she'll let them is the question.
And I know some of you have suggested spending time with my boyfriend's family on holidays and occasions. I think it was just own person, but oh well. I haven't met my boyfriend's family before because they live in the US, but after this situation, I've taken two weeks paid holiday for the end of this month, and he's taking me to meet them for the first time. I hope it goes well because they might be the only family I have now. My therapy session has been moved to tomorrow because I requested an emergency appointment. Wish me luck. Anyway, my biggest thanks goes to all you Redditors for helping me see the situation for what it was. For your advice and compassion, I'm really grateful. I don't think I would have been able to get through this on my own. It's likely I would have caved and apologized just for the pattern to repeat itself. Truly, thank you so much. Wishing you all the best and I hope you know that your advice might have just saved me from my need to always please others. I'll look back on this moment anytime I feel like putting someone else's feelings above my own comfort. Hope your hearts are filled with love and happiness. Layla X PS. Again, apologies for spelling grammar mistakes. It's past my bedtime, but I felt like I owed you all an update. Update two, posting this on my profile instead because a few people have requested an update. To be honest, there hasn't been much to update on in that particular situation. I am in contact with my mom now since the incident because she apologized. My sister and I still do not speak. From what I know, she is still married to my BIL, and I think they're expecting. Something I inferred from family friends' Facebook post. I am doing a lot better, though. I've become closer with my dad and brother throughout everything. My relationship with my mother is more strained now. I feel like I still can't trust her even though she apologized. I don't think we will ever be as close as we were before my sister's schemes. My relationship is going really well too. He was asking about rings, so I'm thinking a proposal might be in my future. Also, his parents are just the best. They've sort of taken me in and it's so cute how they dote on me like I'm their daughter. His whole family is just incredibly supportive and uplifting. We're going to visit them again in July. I'm so excited to go back. I love it in the US. The weather is better, the people are nicer, and of course I get to see where my man grew up. I just feel so much lighter and happier now that I've put what my ex Bill and current Bill have put me through behind me. I wish her the best with her pregnancy, but that's all I can do since she is still refusing to apologize. This probably wasn't the update you were looking for, but it's all I can give at this moment. Hope you're all having a wonderful day and a better summer than I'm having fun. Oh, and anyone from TikTok, my BIL and mother are not together. I've asked the person to take it down, but they haven't responded. So I just thought I would make it clear. BL and mom have not slept together or done anything weird to my knowledge. Update three. This is probably the hardest thing I've ever had to admit to myself. I wish it didn't have to come this. But unfortunately, I think it's the only way I will ever get to live a normal life again. My sister has been telling our family members an entirely warped version of events. I only found out when I sent out Save the Dates. I got a call from an aunt telling me I was brave for inviting all these people after ruining my sister's life. I was so confused, so I asked her what she meant. She elaborated a little by saying that I was wrong for trying to seduce both my sister's husbands and that my fiancé was an idiot for supporting me. I laughed. Out of astonishment, not amusement. First, I told her to watch what she has to say about my soon-to-be husband. He's the only support I've had during this horrible moment in my life. Then I told her what truly went down. She was shocked and didn't believe me. I told her she could easily go to my parents and brother to confirm it. Well, she informed me that my mother already confirmed things for her. I was so pissed off. Words can't describe the anger that I felt in that moment. It was like everything I had gone through in the past few years had all piled up and I couldn't take it anymore. I just hung up the phone. I rang my mother who was begging for my forgiveness a few months ago. I told her I was done. She supported my delusional sister in her crazy schemes and I forgave her. Out of the goodness of my heart, I chose to put that shit behind me so I didn't lose my mother. But she went behind my back and sided with my sister in front of our extended family. She made everyone think I was callous enough to seduce my own bills. She allowed people to spread lies about her own daughter. I told her I never want to see or speak to her again. Um, I called my brother and asked him if he knew any of this had been happening. 
Thankfully, he didn't. Neither did my dad. I then wrote a letter to my sister. The details of the letter held four main points. One, that I was deeply sorry for everything she had been through. It did not mean I understood or forgave her actions, but I was apologetic for how things turned out. Two, she needed to seek help for what my former BIL put her through. Three, I was stunned by the fact she thought she could lie about what happened to everyone and get away with it. She had truly lost the right to call herself my sister from that point on. Four, I wished her the very best in life, but that I never wanted to see or hear from her ever again. She has caused me far too much pain to the point I'll never be able to forgive her. I will never speak to, reach out, or even entertain the idea of reconciling with my mother or sister again. It is up to my father and brother whether they choose to associate with them, but for me, everything is too unfixable. The lies have stacked up so much that there isn't a pair of scissors sharp enough to cut through. My fiancé and I have decided that with everything that has happened, we will just have a town hall wedding. Just a couple witnesses and me and him. I'm so eternally grateful to have found him. He's my entire world, and without him here to talk me out of a breakdown, I might never have survived. Family is not always who you are born with, but those you meet along the way. I've been so incredibly lucky to have met some of the best people I can start my own family with. It is with great sadness that I make this update. It is my own fault for believing in the best of people. To think that I would ever get an apology is just so naive, but I think this may have been a blessing in disguise. At the very least, I'm choosing to see it like that. This chapter of my life is officially over, and I can now move on to better and brighter things. Thank you all for tuning into this portion of my life. Love you all, and hope that you all have better luck with family members than I have. BTW, I know people are curious to know my ethnicity. I'm mixed race, my mother is Indian, and my father is English. I grew up and lived in England most of my life, 